Hi, my name is Gloria Johnson. I'm running for State House District 13. Um, I, the reason I'm running is I'm a teacher. I think it's really important that we do everything we can to educate our students for the brightest future possible. I also think we need to get busy putting Tennesseans back to work. I've gotten a lot of calls from people who live in my district, in District 13, and they're concerned about the negative attack ads and, and some of the things and not focusing on the real issues. And One of those people is Coach Johnny Majors, and he called to say that he'd like to to talk and address some of those issues. So. Well, uh, when Gloria, when, when I uh, read yesterday's paper before I went to see the Tennessee football game, which is wide open and loud, <laughs> uh, I saw the article in the paper where the uh, the, the, uh, the, the the Republican Party had uh, put out some uh, ad uh, that was uh, uh, attacking you and comparing you to Lane Kiffin who left Tennessee to go to Southern Cal as a coach. I thought, that's, that's to me, how not important that is. <laughs> Three-year football coaches departed for an outstanding job at Southern Cal, where he got his college education, where he started his coaching career. He never spent a day in Tennessee until he became a head coach, and he was a winner, and he's doing very well now. But to see that in the paper, comparing you and giving you a bad reputation, trying to, and the two attack ads I got in the, in the mailings from the Republican Party, I'll tell you, I have voted for some Republicans years ago, some moderate Republicans who were progressive and intelligent and stood for some principles I believed in. But right now, I just, I just can't see how we're going to go progress and be a democracy for a long, long time if we continue to bite away at the, at the democratic system. I wouldn't vote for anybody that voted to have Medicare moved into the state legislatures. I don't want the state of Tennessee legislature messing with my medical care and get passing me out coupons to go shop for my own insurance. That's right. I'm That's not right. that technical, and I like Medicare. I think we can cut back some in certain areas, and I know That's an right. area that could be cut back in my Medicare. I would be glad to offer that, but not on public uh, Internet or whatever. <laughs> And uh, to disenfranchise the poor and, uh, and have the poor people take a big burn of the state taxes, which right now we have a budget in our state system of surplus at this point, I understand. But to have the poorer people, the middle class, the lower middle class, pay 9.5% of whatever our state sales taxes are, pay it on food. That means they're paying a lot more money out of their budget than the wealthy are, the wealthy can afford it. But we don't need to be taxing those poor people. We need to relieve the taxes on the, uh, on the food for the good of the people in general. This is a democracy. It's not for the rich only. And I think a lot of the things that are happening right now is based on greed. And um, also the other thing, one of the things that we talked about was um, education. I know that, that I'm sure that you think education is very important and making sure that you talked about Head Start some. I know that that's a program that you uh, understand is, is very effective. And well, people are talking about voting for no government, no go but they still draw their Medicare and their Social Security, <laughs> and, they don't, and, and it's really amazing. We have to have government to have a defense to defend our country and also to, to the county government and police departments and, and fire departments and education system. You know, maybe, maybe some charter schools are okay. I'm no authority on that. But we need a good, healthy uh, public education system. And I will vote for people who are progressive for bettering our education system throughout this country, this great country that's, that's, that's I'm concerned about the future democracy that it may be. But this great country and this wonderful state, I'm for improving our education system. As Tennessee's been rate, rated down lower, lower than most states, including Mrs. Mrs. Not including Mississippi, but Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee, and about a half a dozen of the southern states have been voted lower as far as their education expenditures. And uh, I'm fortunate. I had uh, I had an education that uh, I earned on a scholarship in football. I went to two very good little public schools in Lynchburg and Huntland, Tennessee. We had some good teachers, public school systems, thank goodness. That's right. I, you know, I went to public school. Most of my friends did. Some of my friends went to private, but we're all doing well right now. And so 
I think that what we do is we make our public schools better and we're all going to be in good shape. So do you have any final statements, what you'd like to say to folks uh, at this time about voting? Or I'd like to, I've got a lot of things I'd like to say <laughs> about the great American Republic and, and democracy, which I'm fearful it's, uh, it's been whittled away at by the Supreme Court, Supreme, Supreme Court and a few other aspects of our politics. I hope and encourage people to get out and vote. You may not vote the way I want you to, but we have that right. And most of us have our identification. Unfortunately, some people maybe don't have the money to buy a driver's license and can't vote. But I see where early voting in Knox County was down this year and compared to last, uh, the last voting time. And I encourage us to get out to vote because that's our right and we should take advantage of it before it's ever taken away from us by too many people that I disagree with. All right, I agree. Let's everybody get out and vote. Thanks so much.